Ladies and gentlemen, this year's FAO flagship report, The State of Food and Agriculture, SOFA as we call it, is about global food system and nutrition. The subject could not be more important and timely. As the deadline for the Millennium Development Goals approach in 2015, we can see progress in the fight against hunger. Around 40 developing countries have already met the MDG target of halving the percentage of hunger by 2015. But with 870 million people still hungry and 26% of all children stunted, we have a long way ahead. And hunger is only one form of malnutrition. At least 1.4 billion people in our countries from all income levels are overweight, with a third of them obese. The toll of malnutrition in terms of human suffering and health is enormous. And the cost in terms of lost productivity and health care are also huge. Up to 3.5 trillion US dollars per year, or 500 US dollars per person globally. Particular danger is child and maternal malnutrition, which plays a key role in perpetuating poverty and hunger. FAO's message is that we must strive for nothing less than the eradication of hunger and malnutrition. We are confident that this message is widely shared and will be embraced increasingly in the future. We are encouraged to see that the developing community is paying more and more attention to malnutrition. Nutrition will be on the agenda of the upcoming meeting of the G8 in mid-June, while the links between agriculture and nutrition will be the theme of the new high-level panel initiated by the UK government. What do we need to do to eradicate malnutrition? The State of Food and Agriculture 2013 shows the way and my colleagues will detail them. Let me just say that getting there will require political commitment and leadership at the highest level and broad-based partnerships. Fighting malnutrition requires concerted and coordinated action on health, sanitation, education, gender equality, environment sustainability, and social protection. All of them are needed. This has huge implications for institutions of governance, including those of the food system. Nutrition challenges are doubting in scale and complexity. But one thing is clear, good nutrition must begin with food and agriculture. The report provides a sound background and strengths our knowledge base as to what needs to be done. But no report can substitute for the political will needed in order to move forward. FAO is ready to join the broad partnership needed to overcome malnutrition. I thank you all for your interest.